welcome to Pour Over Monday, a show about pour over coffee. This is the first episode of this series. Pour Over Monday is going to be me doing pour over coffee, checking out some beans, showing you some techniques, and of course tasting the coffee and doing some evaluation. Now you might be thinking, dude, looking kind of ghetto. Well, this show is for normal people who just make coffee, who live normal lives and make coffee in normal houses. Most of the coffee videos you see online, they're in like $20,000 renovated coffee shops or areas of their home. And I feel like most normal people don't have Brazilian rosewood countertops with $30,000 espresso machines. So. This show is just for normal people. These are literally the clothes that I slept in. These are my pajamas. I try to get some nice gear here, you know? I try to do a little bit of my own renovation. I got some nice stuff, yeah. Monday's the first day of the week, and usually it's the hardest day of the week because you're getting back into the grind of work. So, Pour Over Monday is gonna help you pour over Monday with some pour over coffee. Huh? Huh? So let's get started. Now I am not a coffee expert, nor would I ever call myself a coffee connoisseur. I'm like a bee when it comes to coffee and my palate and my pour over technique. So a B grade is kind of like an F in Asian culture, but in coffee culture, B stands for barista. Huh? Huh? I, I don't know why I did that. It's really early right now. But you're gonna see my technique. I'm sure you're gonna critique it and it's okay because I don't care. I've been doing pour over for about two years and I feel like I've developed a, a pretty good technique, an okay palette. I'm still trying to develop it. Palette basically means that you could taste the differences between certain origins of coffee and I feel like I'm getting there, but I'm not nearly as good as some of my friends who can probably just sniff a coffee bean and say like, it's from Kenya, Rwanda, Ethiopia. I can't do that. What do we got for today? All right, so doing Blue Bottle. Blue Bottle is the name of the company. Giant Steps is the name of this blend. A blend means it's different origins that they blended together to make this flavor or to make this a style of coffee. Also on this show, I don't have really, really high-end gear. All of my stuff is probably bought on Amazon. This show is for normal people who don't spend $5,000 on coffee gear because most of us can't really afford that. So here's my kettle. I'm just gonna fill this with water here. All right, here we go. Uh, it's a little too much water, I gotta dump a little bit. I gotta put some more in. All right, got enough water in here. <laughs> Sorry, that one's broken. Let's let this heat up. I'm gonna set mine up for uh, 199 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually the temp of water that you wanna heat your water to is about 195 to 205. I do mine to 199. After it reaches 199, I kinda let it sit because it gets up to about 204. And then I start my pour over regimen. All right, we're gonna wait for this here. Okay, while the water's heating there, Let's start measuring out our beans. You want to get a scale. The scale, I think, was like $30 on Amazon or something like that. You want to get a scale that measures in grams. Let me grab my... All right. All right, I'm going to be measuring out my coffee. You want to turn on your scale. After you turn on your scale, you want to hit this tear button so it zeroes out. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to pour in the coffee beans. And as you pour in beans, the numbers in grams are going to go up. That was bad, I spilled the beans. And then I'm gonna just kinda get it right to an accurate 20. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do 20 grams of beans. There we go, I got it. I'm gonna do different combinations of coffee to water ratios and different amounts of beans. So there's a lot of different combinations we could do here. A very, very average common coffee to water ratio and amount of beans is 20 grams. 20 grams is kind of like a safe, safe standard and coffee to water ratio is a one to 15 coffee ratio. What that means is for every gram of beans that you have, you wanna pour in 15 grams of water. 
So with a 1 to 15 coffee to water ratio and then 20 grams of beans, that's going to be 300 grams of water total. This is not something that everyone does. This is not like something that you always should do. That's why we're going to do different combinations on the show. I'm going to pour in my coffee beans here. I am going to do it on a medium grind right about there. Now, not every coffee grinder has uh, options like I do. Some of your coffee grinders might have numbers. Some of the coffee grinders literally just have three settings, coarse, medium, and fine. We're gonna grind these beans up. This is not some high-end gear here. Some mahogany from South Chile. This is from Amazon. like this. Put it in there. Alright, the water's done. Uh, turn that off. I'm gonna take my cup, put it in here. Now the reason why you want to wash the filter is because you kind of don't want to get any of that taste of the paper filter in your coffee. I'm gonna start right in the middle here. See how I'm going in a little circle? And then we're gonna come out, we're gonna make the circles larger. Now, the first pass should be about 60 grams of water. As you can see, I'm a little bit off, it's okay. And the most important thing is when you do your first pass of water, you wanna wait about 30 to 45 seconds between the first pass and the second pass. So here's my second pass. And remember, we're gonna do, each pass is gonna be 60 grams of water. So as you can see, I'm right there about 20, 120, and it's flowing right through. If you guys can see, it's flowing right through. So as it gets close to the bottom, I'm gonna do another pass right away because you want water flowing through at a consistent rate. Here's my second pass. That's about 180 almost, all right? Got pretty close. And as you can see, water is going through. I kind of waited too long on the first one, so I'm gonna do it a little bit earlier. I'm gonna make my circles larger. And again, you don't wanna go to the edges of the dripper. On the last pass, I'm on my last pass now, this is the time where you wanna to go to the edge now. You wanna get all that coffee in. So I'm gonna start here in the middle, and I like to just kinda of get there right away. And I'm gonna get all that coffee in now. We got all the coffee going right close to 300. I'm almost there. And that was our last pass. So we're gonna wait. I know I wasn't perfect with every pass of 60 grams. You're trying your best. So don't beat yourself up too much. I, I do better jobs sometimes, and sometimes I'm a little bit over by five or 10 grams. It's looking good. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, here we go. Here's the coffee. So I've been trying Giant Sips for over a year now. Recently, I actually asked Blue Bottle what they recommend for coffee to water ratio and for coffee grams. I did not use Blue Bottle's recommendation. Like I said, I did the kind of the normal 20 grams of coffee, one to 15 coffee to water ratio. Because I'm so used to Blue Bottle's recommendation, I don't really taste the flavors. Yeah, I don't, I don't really taste this as well. Uh, another thing I'm thinking about is maybe my coffee beans are getting close to their, the end of their lifetime. Coffee beans usually only last for about two to three months as a whole bean, not coffee grounds. I think I'm getting close to that two to three month mark here. You know when your coffee bean lifetime is coming to an end is when your beans don't taste as good as when you first open the bag. So on another episode of Pour Over Monday, I'll do giant steps again but follow Blue Bottle's recommendations. I'm not gonna share that with you right now because you gotta stay tuned and watch that future episode. Here's the pour over question of the day. What kind of coffee beans do you all like? Let me know, maybe I'll go buy some. Thanks for watching Pour Over Monday, the show that's trying to help you pour over Monday and get through the rest of the week. All right, enjoy your coffee. Ah, it's hot. I gotta do some dishes.